Yo, what's going on, everyone? This is SLC Beatbox. We're here doing spit snare tutorial. So let's get the lighting real quick. So that sound, and you guys will hear me do it a lot. Let me just get the lighting nice. There we go. Get the nice lighting going. You guys will hear me do... A lot. And so that sound is very important because what the heck's going on? That sound is very important because it's a spit snare variation. So like what I'm doing is Putting my mouth like in the right in the middle case snare. So there's multiple not case snare, spit snare. There's multiple, you know, I call it the mm, the crunch snare. I call it the crunch snare. And a YouTube tutorial right there on my channel, the channel trailer is called My Special Sound Tutorial. I'm gonna evolve it into the machine. Uh, case snare spam tutorial so that sound <laughs> the machine case snare spam tutorial is extremely crucial because you're developing the, the the muscles on the tongue to articulate the K the K sound outward <laughs> it's also extremely important because when we're doing this spit snare this crunch snare right in the middle so the crunch snare right in the middle Hold it and sustain the air. If any of you are familiar with Supernova from Middle School Beatbox, he's very good at doing So shout out Supernova from Middle School Beatbox. That sound is extremely useful is because we're developing the muscles for the crunch snare also, shout out Kenny Urban from the USA. <laughs> shout out Wawad from France. Wawad beatbox. <laughs> Added the vocal bass, right? Shout out River beatbox. <laughs> sound is extremely important for the crunch snare right in the middle because now we can go and then also because the muscles have not developed yet for developing beatboxers like myself it is to use our fingers to help us beatbox beatbox is creating anti-human noises to make music if that's the case why not use our hands to help us right we have the Doing the meow squeak, and uh, a lot of you can look up d tutorial about the meow squeak. Where we push our cheeks, we put air pockets in our cheeks. And then we push the air out, we're using our fingers. Right? So it's using other aspects, right? And I know some people do like the... Where they do the outward um, trung bow uh, sound, the like where he does, I got a bass cannon, <sighs> and he does that really um, super awesome outward sound. Then he uses his fingers <sighs> to enhance the noise, right? 
even more. Also, the Pash laser bass, they use their fingers to enhance the noise even more. So, in doing my take on it, my alteration, my take on it is doing that except with the crunch snare position and then blowing out um, going tuku 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 tu or tu 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 or gu 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 right having the spit snare position and using our fingers to help us make the noise go even louder even higher pitched right so instead of it's Okay, right? So in order to do that sound, it's to master the crunch snare right in the middle. Now blow air as if we're doing a lip oscillation. However, having the pressure be extremely high and then we just clamp down with our fingers while pushing out air or Yes. So everyone, my name is SLC Beatbox, and this is also this is gonna be a part two of this series, and I wanna make a part two right now. <laughs>